All right, brand new episode. A brand new episode for Brandon here. <laughs> you know, it rhymes. But uh, now that the children are beginning to grow up a little, and my concubine is a unfaithful harlot, but I'm still going to tolerate I'm not going to put her aside just yet, even though I do have the ability to righteously imprison her, but there's a good chance that she might escape. Imprisonment and flee to Lithuania or in Prussia somewhere. But I have other pressing matters such as the continuous raids to feudal areas for more money. But most importantly, I have his son as my ward. He's in the house arrest. And he's converted to Slavic paganism. In which uh, now the next step is when he comes out of hiding, I need to challenge him to a duel. I need to get rid of him. And subsequently get rid of the Bulgar Khan as well for being too dangerous for Bosnia. Alright. Praised be she, Morana. She knows the secrets that many of us don't. We'll go for construction just to build buildings faster. Who's this? Oh yeah, the guy who has... Mm -hmm. Oh man, depressed, stressed, wounded, cramps, malaise, fever. Man. Not to mention he had a bit of a wound there. So you could say uh, he died of depression. He didn't commit suicide, otherwise he would say he committed suicide. It's just, he's pretty much like, oh man, I can't take it anymore. <gasps> huh. Eh. Yes. Okay, you know what? Let me know when he comes out of hiding or something. He's hiding because he's paranoid. And he has every right to be. Price of decadence. The ruling dynasty of the Abbasid Empire has been overthrown by the zealous and hard living tribesmen of the Nazareth dynasty. Their decadent empire has been toppled, freeing any vassals from their bondage to their unworthy caliph. With the empire gone, time will tell if a worthy dynasty will be up to test to restoring authority in the region. Bloated fools. I knew the Abbasids were big, but now it's reduced to all these independent places. And that includes the big uh, Sultanate of Egypt. And we got the, we got from Africa, the uh, Shia Muslims, which they've expanded to Spain and even into Switzerland and Germany, which they won an invasion war somehow. But some of them are still, they're still Christian vassals in there. So it's only a matter of time before the Holy Roman Empire declares a holy war for them. So yes, the world is definitely changing. While meanwhile, in the northwestern Balkans. There's going to be significant changes, especially with Croatia. Come out of there, Hranislav. I will challenge you to a duel. And by God, by Morana, we will get German Orthodox. Oh, yes. Uh, I totally forgot that I had loads and loads of prisoners, and we're about to have more as the raids continue. As a way of making more money. Wicked donkey. Wicked donkey. If only you were Slavic, uh, it would be some use. During the past few months, every Slav has shown dog determination in his studies of our language and now has expressed a desire to history of my people's ancestors. You want to become Bosnian? Honestly, I would rather have you Croatian, so you can get along better with your vassals, or what's left of it. So that way they won't kill you. If you're a Bosnian. I would rather stick you being Croatian, so make sure he learns about his own customs. You will remain Croatian, not Bosnian. Despite the fact in, in actual history and today, Bosnia and Croatian are basically the same languages. Welcome back. 
your uh, husband got killed by the Orthodox King. And I guess he didn't take it too kindly. Must have been rivals, so... You were able to have a daughter, but... Sorry. Sorry for you. Sorry for your loss. So now, Rashka wants Vukovar. Well, we're slowly piecing away bits of bits of Croatia. But I would rather subjugate the whole thing rather than take it piece by piece. I wonder if this particular war will make him come out of there. Come out of hiding. So I can kill you. And install a Slavic king and... Not to mention this would also end the war in Vukovar. You know, the conquest. You know, you can't fight those of the same faith. And now I'm going to figure out what to do with all that money. Mm -mm -mm. And don't forget to go to Istria whenever the revolt is done. Which is for Pankratios. No, you idiot. You can't fight a duel with him when it's at war. Why do you forget? This is just me getting ahead of myself every time. Nico the Bear, they call him. You know, I think right, taking Croatia piece by piece may not be a bad idea after all. Because after all, I do want parts of Carinthia as part of the larger Bosnian Empire. As I'd imagine, kind of like our own version of Yugoslavia. Not going to be a Slavic Yugoslavia, no. This empire idea will happen long after Slavic paganism in this area is dead. It's just I'd like to think that Branimir, for his role, is to be the last offender. <laughs> One who stubbornly held on to his faith. Come out of hiding. And finish your war so I can beat you again. And I am not thinking about antagonizing the Silas himself. Or any of the Arab empires, for that matter. Oh yeah, he super hates me. But he does appreciate my humility. You can't antagonize him because he's secluded disease, right. Right. I was thinking, like, who should I antagonize just for my own amusement? And since I have this, again, I have nothing against the Catholics. Um, I'm going to choose you for faith this time. I don't want you being a shield maiden in the future. Where is your religious head? The ecumenical patriarch. Since I, well, he's secluded as well. <laughs> I was thinking about, well, who should I antagonize next? How about the patriarch himself? Since, we, you know, we've been at war with the Orthodox for decades. So I thought, how about I'll just kill the religious head and lower their moral authority so heresies can spring up. And I made my concubine, who I called her an unfaithful harlot, pregnant. What's up with that? That's a beauty, really. Made another friend, which was Igor of Novgorod. Just 
not a friend the, from the Warrior Lodge. <coughs> and I've been doing some thinking. Uh -huh, thinking, thinking. And which, what to do with that money that's been spent. Oh, I forgot about the Warriors. That was during the, uh, uh, during the, uh, that one of those wars against the Byzantine Empire. Yes. Yes, I remember now. Uh, let's see. Spell it here. Again, have this on the note. Look at that. That's my son, mind you. Well, you got lucky that you weren't born with the great pox from him. Which, that would have been all sorts of problems have I found out about it. Kenna of Kiev. Huh. Well, you're pregnant. She needs confidence. Uh, objects be an easy match. You don't want to hurt no pregnant lady. She's got the renown, but she disrespects me. And I knew the renown for that. Speaking of renown, I should spend something with that. Such as choose military aspect. Vladislav was a duelist. Liliana was a strategist. And now I want to spend more time outdoors hunting, which will lead to the hunter trait. Gonna be raiding that area. Istria is feudal. And we'll have more than a thousand gold, which no doubt we may spend it on something. And I don't know what to do with you guys. Unless we want to go to war against the Byzantine Empire again to take Istria. Bogdan the Mona. Again. This one born ugly. She's not, uh, got the ugliness, just, I don't know, must have ate something. The experienced hunters I have spent with seem quite pleased with my weapon skills. Are wondering what I would like to explore next. Pouring over the maps, the area outside of uh, Bosna. My advice suggests I should learn more about the theory behind the tracking of various prey. Okay, intriguer learning. Only temporary for about 10 years. Oh, are these sketches of animal footprints? Tell me more. A tracker. Croatia should be done. And Vukovar is about to be under Raskin slash Bosnian control. Slowly taking away Croatia piece by piece. You know what? To cancel the raid. Stand down. Get back over here. Come on out of there. Where are you? Cousin Vladislav press claim for Leningrad. Pomerania? No. Not up there. That's your business, not mine. You might as well assemble your own hosts to get that claim. And I wouldn't even mind one bit. I start to feel that to turn the other cheek is just stupid. An eye for an eye! No longer patient. We've been tracking a wild stag for hours. When a growl sounds in the bushes next to us, a thunk, followed by a soft groan, tells me that my arrow found its target. Relaxing my posture, I realize that the hunt is over. They should be calling you King Branamir, the hunter, one of my companions last I saw. Can't believe uh, I wasn't always like this. So now I'm a hunter. 
20% on a pursuit, which is especially for retreating armies. Plus two martial and plus one diplomacy. Always wanted to be charismatic more and more. Okay, the revolt is done. And Bukovar is ours. Which I can usurp the High Chieftain title of Sturmeo, which I'm sure I can give it to him. Sure, why not? Here you go, for your reward. And I'm sure when your descendants pass on, you'll be splitting both of those lands for yourselves. He's still there. Oh well. And he still has not come out of hiding. Such a shame. But honestly, I think my original plan of making Croatia Slavic again, I think it might be backfiring. Slowly. Ah. And, uh, like thought we would just install him there, and then when I pass, we'll subjugate him. I think we have to usurp it instead. So, I will be targeting Crane. Uh, conquest for Crane. A rivalry war is another that I could try without taking land. You know what? Instead of thinking that piece by piece away from him, we need to get him out right now. So a rivalry war for once. So when I win, I'm going to be his prisoner. And I'm most likely going to execute him afterwards. And then install this newly converted son of his as king of Croatia. Slavic Croatia. N I don't think we need to raise our own uh, levies. I think we the retinue and the Bosnian warriors can handle this situation. So it's time much like our patron deity Morana, which she is the Goddess of death and rebirth, but well now it's time for the death and rebirth of Croatia. The shrinking violet. I'm actually gonna leave it at that. Nika, even though it's a Greek name and not a Slavic one, I just well, leave it at that. That's a good investment. Retinues and newly spawned warriors. Byzantine writing ground has been completed. One more. And look at that. There's already horse archers. And if you were to raise its troops now, and as you can see, we have some horse archers. Not all, but some. Shipbuilder certain counties that we could build uh, ships. Yes. And have more of these. Spend that money on ships. Because uh, with these ships uh, we can actually raid to other places on boats if we wanted it to. Raid other places such as the islands of Sardinia, Crete, Corsica, those mountains that's under the control of the Shia Muslims. Malta. Cyprus. All those places. Pirates of Mediterranean, one would think. We got some more children. Including the wife of the king. Put it under house arrest. Same for the other uh, daughters. It's too late for Yelena. But Yovana, however. Same for you. Ah, here. 
Okay, managed to put all the children, including their wife, under house arrest. And their youngest will eventually be Slavic. You know, gotta get the family back together again. Also, nose, uh, <laughs> I said no, uh, and that sounded like a nose, and I see the flu symbol. Mild illness. You'll live. That reminds me, the Anatic Law. Since I still hold the Kingdom of Serbia title, well, we have to be at peace first, and we'll switch it to Agnatic Cognatic. You know what? Just turned it. This is a fence spawn troops and retinues can be refilled. Alright, time for you to come out of hiding. Head home. First, Agnetic Cognetic for Serbia. And now. Pranislav, your heir is your only son who was converted to our ways, and he's still got a few more years of imprisonment before we send him out once he reaches adulthood, and Croatia will be back to the way it should be. And you will not live to see that. Execute. And we hung him. I could have served for Croatia, but, uh, what good would that do? That does not mean I control all this land, it's just I'm simply taking the title away, and then... Grab it piece by piece, I mean, being a triple kingdom. Yeah. So we're just gonna let it be. He has no unknown successor. Actually, we did release him. As soon as he became king. Uh, oh well. At least I taught you what you know. Uh. Child would be the hostage of foreign power. <laughs> yeah, none of that's gonna happen, right? No. Very well. But your siblings, they're going to be staying with us. <laughs> if I see any trouble over there... Bogdan the Fox. At least he didn't have the, the moaner, now he's the fox. Much better. Taking Croatia, usurping it. Yeah, I would fight the Jor claims for just these three counties here. Yeah, we could finish mopping them up. And there is no peace treaty. You know what? I'm kind of intrigued. And yes, we. I mean, no. I mean, we can't fight. Who's claim? Sanova Triple Mirovic. Iconoclast, no. Uh, what is... So it's like, yeah, you can grab Zagreb or Slavonia or just the whole of Croatia. Oh, that would mean we would install that Iconoclast man there. Which we don't want that. And, of course, it's going to take a couple of years before we fully subjugate, but a lot could happen in Croatia, which I think that could be easily prevented. Screw it. A serpent. One would think, well, we did all that for nothing, but it's only three counties. It's only just Slavonia. So, yeah. There we go. Now, could you please join us? Oh, power. Opinion, yeah. It doesn't like it, the that I've just executed your countrymen and took your title. Not to mention claimant. So I'm now the king of Bosnia, Croatia, and Serbia. Yeah. 
And as we said before, we'll take it. Oh, we can force specialization. That's even better. And I have a thousand prestige that I can spend. Definitely better. Well, we wanted Croatia all along, and we don't have to wait for it. Screw it. Bring all the troops, including the newly, um, newly recruited horse archers. Just surrender now, boy. I guess uh, my decision making was was good after all. You don't have to wait to subjugate it. Just usurp it. And since I executed the old ruler and installed a new one there, <laughs> in which he's going to be briefly independent, and then bring him back into Bosnia and maybe just maybe I would uh betroth to him and be married off to one of the Tuzilovich children just to ensure that that Croatia will never be orthodox again and maybe take bits of crane as well may have to vassalize that as well or just take one county in a conquest and that's that. <sighs> Once again, the genius that is Branimir, the bard. He'll write this song. So let's just hurry up and mop it up. It's a brief end of, it's a brief war. And she has the flu. She'll be alright. She's lived a pretty interesting life. With my relationships in both business and with women. One more to go. Or do you wish to surrender now? Yes, he does. At least you saved me a few money and troops. Come back. Lazy boar Brandomir. There, you're one of us now. Truly one of us. Bosnia is big now. <laughs> or the Triple Kingdom of Bosnia, Croatia, and Serbia. Well, how about these guys? You want to be vassalized? I got another thousand prestige. Which, no doubt, I can. Uh, how many troops do you have? 700. And here is the Chief of Slavonia. All right. The last remains of Croatian orthodoxy. Yeah, well, let's do that. We don't have to do conquest. Matter of fact, link up at Zagreb. But yes, we will have an orthodox vassal, but they won't be around for long. What an investment. And we use that term investment loosely. Doesn't always mean money. Spy master has passed. I guess shall be use. Rashka. I was about to say Serbia, but it's Rashka. Now it's time to grab these two counties, which will start expanding northwestwards into parts of Corinthia and maybe one day it may not happen in my reign may not happen in my reign but it will happen when Corinthia becomes part of Bosnia ok 
killed by a dun. Wow. I'm uh, impressed. Yeah. Very, very impressed of you. <laughs> Again, Branimir and his love for Lithuanian women, for whatever reason. Keep that to itself. Storm the place. And we got even more prisoners, and that's that. We will do something about the Orthodox vassal. Stay there. Revoke that tunnels because you are an infidel. So get out. And we will replace it with a Slavic one. Keep going. Keep it up. The sickness that is orthodoxy has been cut out from Bosnia. Although the majority of the Croatian populace, in including those people up there, yes, they will remain orthodox. Uh, because we don't have by the means of converting them. But should they ever spring up an uprising, we'll put them down. Now, is there any Slavic? That's a nice this man, yes, the Bogos side. Oh, he's infirm. Well, just find of that culture. There isn't that much of them. Well, you do have of those children. Maybe I should grant you a uh, high chieftain of crane. There you go, now that land is once again populated to its rightful owners. And rightful faith, especially. What is next? You think it's time for raiding? I think so. Because we do uh, need some money. In which we'll raid Istria, which is the closest. And one of these days I gotta set new rally points. Since we're on a bit of an expansionist campaign, nothing like that was seen by previous rulers. So let's just here collect the money and then we'll figure out our next move. But of course there is this threat level which some may form a defensive pact against me. And do not forget, when I pass on, Croatia and Serbia will be separated. But there will be ways to, to get them all back. This is what I've been waiting for. The legalism for high centralization. Off to there, since the Byzantines are busy with their long-standing revolt war. Come away, 
Christian Orthodox. Pity. But as long as they don't control any form of territory, we should be fine. And if there's going to be any revolts, we'll put them down. And what do you know? Truce is expiring. Which I would go to war against them to take Istria. But, I, but taking on the Holy Roman Empire is the last thing I would ever want to think about. I've taken this part here. Just Slavic territory. Good on you. My little son Miroslav has said sought me out with a dead bird cradle in his arms. With a concerned look on his face, uh, he asked me what happened to the animal. Why is she not flying anymore? <sighs> look, the bird is in with Miranda now, dearest Miroslav. This one learning or... Um, listen to my tell once once I calmed him and he seemed to lose interest and see there's no point in learning lecturing him further. Send him away to play and comply without protests. Okay, lost one learning on that one. You see, the goddess gives and the goddess takes away. That's what she does. Especially in this case in our country. So if we needed money just to continue to finance for our expansion campaigns. It's not going to be about building temples anymore. Who does this now? Morgan's tyranny. Oh, oh. All right, we found the key for that strange chest. Let's see what it is this time. The key fits and trembling with anticipation. I slowly open the chest and it's filled with ancient gold coins. Carved with the likeness of long dead emperors of Rome, and the words written in their strange language, which is Latin. And yes, Istria, like most of the area, under Roman Empire long ago. Two hundred gold! Whoa, whoa, hey, 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 hey. Oh, revolt, right. So we just uh, helped them out. Very well. We got lucky with the money. Once again, Bosnia is rich. We got enough money to, which again, finance the expansionist campaign. So, where's the rest of Corinthia? We already got these two parts. This one's next. This part here is did your part of it? I guess we'll take that next, but it's currently under a revolt of tyranny. Or alternatively, go up against the Bulgars, which they're at peace. You and me, friend. You and me. Going in a duel. And if I beat them... Got it. The sun is beginning to set. I met with Khan Kuba. My silver-hilted longsword ready. After he vigorously dodges one of my attacks. Uh... My next one lands perfectly. Frantically, the man attempts to cover his injured hand, but rarely I've seen so much blood. And it appears your better son has grown up now. I take it I win this fight. Hope you drop dead. And it's possible that I might be considering a war against him to take Rashka back into Serbia. Fin uh, into yeah, well, you know. Yeah, Bosnia and Bulgaria, two big, burgeoning, almost empire-like entities. But the only big difference is that Bulgaria is feudal, while we're tribal. So that's what I'm going to go after next. It's going to be Bulgaria to take Rashka back into safe hands. But first, in order to gain a bit of... Well... 
once again. Prosperity and growth for my realm, cause I'm a man of Stuart. And my young daughter will join that warrior lodge. You're up for sacrifice. Glad that I waited. It's Bulgarian conquest to go up there. This area, thereafter. Their expansion will stop there. But first, uh, let's hold a Yarrill Festival to make the vassals happy. Let's begin preparations. <sighs> My wife has just died at the age of 50 before she could live to see to this festival. Tragic. Oh yes, you're Catholic. You have no faith in the Aurel of Perun or the other gods, and instead just follow the strange original some of the religious foreign to us. It's a foolish mistake. Glad we got rid of the Orthodox, but the Catholic person will remain. Because he's useful to us with his diplomacy skill. And she has joined. It is Chief Lubish to represent Yarolo this year. He's reclined in the most glamorous areas and small bells been fastened to his clothes, wielding a mallet representing a thunderbolt. Lubish around the parade, surround singing and dancing while the noisy crowd falls close to him. All hail Yarolo, son of Perun. <laughs> this should be an easy match, frickin' peg leg. My celebration winds down. I've got my servants uh, to prepare. Let us drink together. Vassal opinion increase for 15 months. That's all I need. And he appreciated my choice of opponent. I cannot believe it. My dearest Basilica, my sweet lady, you are gone from this world and I am left behind. Alone. And heartbroken. I will never hold you in my arms again. I do not know what to do with these unbearable feelings. I will seek solace at your grave, my love. Which, again, she was a kind woman, just like me, but she was paranoid and she was shy, so she was a recluse at times. But the Yarrilla Festival will continue. Thanks to Perun's great mercy, there were no other visitors at Basilica's grave when I arrived. I spent several hours mere yards from her cold body, contemplating the uh, fragility of life uh, and love. When I returned to my chambers, as if by sign sent from Basilica, I found her lucky charm on the floor. I will cherish it until the day I die. The lovers of mental. my worship of the Arrolo this season. My vassals are returning home and most seem to agree that the Arrolo festival was well worth the trip. There we go. With, with Bulgaria now stronger than ever. While we have 7,000 troops and plus 8,000 more if all vassals were to get together. And don't forget the retinues. Although I could declare a rivalry war, but it ain't gonna be like that. It's gonna be the conquest of Rashka, and he has no allies. So this could be a tough one to crack. And plus, I'm currently antagonizing their next prince. Or their next uh, future Khan of Bulgaria, who's also a genius. They always have a family line of geniuses. Everyone will likely accept. This is why I did the Arrillo Festival first. So that way it'll be more accepting. We all need to stand together in order to take on mighty Bulgaria. But based on Bosnia's reputation, uh, based on Bosnia's reputation, we've toppled empires. My vassal Sebislav has the teachings of dragons, studying principles of the Orthodox faith. Interesting. No, not interesting at all. You brought him back in the ways. Well, once he's been 
once we're deal with the Bulgars, we're gonna get rid of them. <laughs> You've outlived your usefulness, young man. I keep thinking about Basilica. She was the best of wives, and without her, oh, I do so struggle to be a king. Oh, how I miss her. What the? Incapable. I could become depressed. Oh, man. Wenching might make me forget her. I'm lustful now. This was one of the traits that my grandfather had. Now I've become Vladislav in a way. Oh, you know what? This may sound like a stupid idea, but... Would you like to marry me? Of course you'll accept. Yeah, what she makes... Well, forget about her. And get the money! To finance such a military campaign. Nobody would have thought of a... In a religious marriage, only because she's been here for so long. And she hates my guts. But she has every right to be. Perhaps I could sway her. Haven't used that sway option in a while. Wonder think maybe I would fall in love with her. Again, Brandomir has always had a thing for Lithuanian women. He must have had lust in his eyes the entire time. My wife, Aldona. Oh, here we go. She explains she is captivated by the grace and strength of hunting birds and begs me for a bird. Surely even a spouse of a king must be allowed to enjoy the nobility of pastime, she says. A falcon shall serve you well, and now she's deeply in love. Gosh, um... Morana, have mercy on my soul. I've, uh, had a crush on the Lithuanian girl for years. And now I finally married her. Yes, she was an unfaithful heart at one time, but we can work it out. <sighs> Man, the life of Branimir has been the most interesting. More interesting than Vladislav, honestly. Oh, we can handle that. But a mild winter, however. Oh, that's raid related. Not to worry about that. Perhaps it is time that I ask Queen Adona to spend time, spend some time with me, and it's probably the fastest way for me to gain her trust. Again, she's 33. She's in her prime. Wants to kill my son, which, okay, whatever. Oh, and she's merciless. Don't forget, she killed Stana Ivokovich. Yeah. I'll ask her. She's happy to applaud me. Now I have some time to spend time with her. I'm confident that I can convince her how likely we are. She stands only to gain from our friendship. We could finally talk in private. It was nice finally feeling I've done it for a while. Oh man. Uh, even though she is my wife, my duties as king often prevent me from spending enough time with my own family. Y you're not kind, right? But you are zealous. I hope the visit was of your liking, so it's because I'm kind. That's another thing. I'm a nice person. Head up to uh, Vidin. Not sure about the supply limit. Okay, tell you what, I gotta do some ordering around here. Whew! Here's another thing I tend to forget. Need warrior training. There we go. Pillar of the Plains. I just needed some more morale, damage, and defense. Something we should have uh, needed during our war against the Byzantine Empire. And I've al already ordered some of my vassals to take a uh, vid in. We're gonna go side by side. <coughs> what the? Rashkin Peasant Revolt. What's going on over there? 
religious tension. Ah, the Serbian people have risen up, but unfortunately we're in their way, so we're just killing them indiscriminately. Oh my goodness. An, a grandson, but he's a genius. But he has the great pox and sickly. And he's going to die very, very soon. No reason to pick any name. So, he's good as dead. Alright, send Marshal Mit Mithodios uh, to heighten the troops' morale. Fight better, will ya? Switch go left-handed. That'll be good of use. Oh. Okay, you got a decent stewardship skill. Let's just leave it at that. No need for warriors right now. Spends too much time studying ancient books of strange and mysterious um, Authors, his radio activities are obviously proof of his um, heretical beliefs due to the fact that he's Tengri. You're the most disgraceful prince. But he's gonna, he's gonna try to be cool with it. It's because he has high intrigue. He has the best at every skill. That's one of the reasons why I need to get rid of him. By challenging him to a duel. We always resolve our differences through duels. I prefer one on one combat over assassinations any day. We fight like real men should instead of stabbing him in the back with a knife. You are physically sturdy. Scarred and ooh, got a black eye from that initiation duel. Very well. There's room for improvement if you want to be the next shield mate in the Bosnia. Uh, now they've converted to the Orthodox faith by the Emperor, the Holy Roman Empire. Whoa! The Holy Roman Empire, they're Orthodox too? My God, what has this world coming to? By Morana, what has this world coming to? Now the Orthodox rule the world. Mostly. And there are no Catholic kingdoms, are there? Oh no, that's Lollard. Not even them. I mean, you can't request mass conversions. Um, I mean, you can do that if you have the uh, tribal organization level leveled up, which I never bothered with it because it's not time yet. I will do it when I please the next ruler. Oh, I might start antagonizing the Holy Roman Empire and, f and get rid of them because I did some checking prior to this, which I had to wait till the surprise is revealed, that, uh, that one of their heirs is, is Catholic, actually. So there is a chance that, <laughs> that my personal war against the Orthodox Church continues. Yeah, the personal war against the Orthodox continues. So now we have to get rid of the Holy Roman Emperor by... Oh, sh... Uh... I know I ordered you to switch it in, but... Get to Nicopolis. We need backup. Who else is with you? Slavonia and Imotsky. already ordered them. Slavonia. I know who Slavonia is. Please get over here. Now I'm the leader of the champions of Peru. But we're still beating them back. We didn't even need reinforcements.
Oh yeah, this Lithuanian man who's been here for for a lot in Bosnia. So, oh no, he ain't Lithuanian. He's Lithuanian. Other Baltic ethnicity. Now we actually fought the main army and won. Not just them, but Nicopolis as well. Okay, stick together. We'll come out on top. You know, kind of makes me wonder, since, you know, my wife in the warrior lodge and everything, and she's got pretty good skill. I was wondering, is it possible that I could make her as commander? I mean, not right now, just look at it as an option. Well, one of my daughters can, but for my wife, uh, no. She's not a shield maiden. Ah uh, yes, went from Orthodox to Slavic. And thank you for reminding me, because after this war I have to deal with the Slavonian. The one who went back to Orthodoxy, because I wasn't aware that they had a guardian who is Orthodox. I mean, yes, they still live here. It's just unfortunate that everything that I, that I raised him to be, and now... <coughs> There's this saying. Just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. <laughs> Better go get Vidin next. Well, after two more holdings. Yep, I'm slowly winning over the woman's friendship. And she's brave now. She was on a renowned duelist. Gosh. Well, I'm glad you arranged to, you know, get on out of here. Because 11,000 of us, no good. Oh, doubly no good. It's those boys from Crane. They're gonna get killed. If they had to fit in, head there. Yes, they are. Let's meet them. Look forward to beating him one more time. Yeah, they will take the river crossing penalty, and Slavoni is going to get initial knocks as they will begin on the 23rd. We'll be there on 3rd of March. Just hold the line, guys. Uh. Brave Slavonians, here we come. You're the most disgraceful prince. Oh, we're being back for once. I should have ordered the rest of these guys. To okay, we made a tactical error on our part. Because I was being overconfident about the abilities of our troops and our commanders. So now I'm ordering all the vassals to link up with the Bosnian army. And we'll get together again. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll beat the mighty Bulgarian army back as they're taking all those areas back. They got their work cut out for them.
So let's just stay in Verbos now for a while. One would think we should just let them liberate their own territories. The genius of this ridden grandson is now dead. And uh, we'll move in again. On our terms, not their terms. They got lucky, but we have a lot of money, and the war goes on. One of their vassals. Pesty Bosnian subjugation war. Really? You guys want to subjugate the whole of Bosnia? Well, you are taking advantage of me weekly, but, uh, must call the glory. Come, my friends, eternal glory amongst the bravest, uh, Now, uh, let's make a war sacrifice. Look at you, you're ridden with Simplice and a lunatic, and not to mention... You are the heir to the Kingdom of Serbia, which I cannot allow you to grab that title, so... This is gonna hurt me before... I don't know. I'm hesitant. Either that or, uh... This, uh, German woman here. Which, you know, hardly anybody knows about her. But she has much better skills than that. I mean, she can't be ruler. I'm just... Look, I've been dealing with a lot. <laughs> Maybe more uh, morale and damage is what this man needs. So, for once, I will emulate my own flesh and blood to please you. Sorry, Bogdan. This is for Bosnia. You're, you have served your country well. Now you will be sacrificed for other country. After leading Bogdan in the woods, a few warriors and I start stalking them, our faces painted and our bodies covered in pelts. We run after our prey, howling the gods' names and throwing rocks at him. In the end, having surrounded him, we tear him apart, offering his flesh to the gods. My blood for your power. Now I become a tribal kinslayer because of this. Sorry about that, but attraction opinion, so you kind of view me more attractive now, I think. Yes. It's like, wow, you, you killed your own son. Uh, I like you more. <laughs> that's, that's how she feels about me. All right. Next, we must stand together. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, the champion spoon have heeded my call to action. Tobias, a valiant follower of Yarrello has assembled a host of warriors to aid me in the ongoing war. Welcome. I'm glad to meet you. And you know what? For once, build a zeal. Because I feel that uh, we are threatened more. Even though it's not a holy war, but we just need all the help that we can get. And we know that this war will continue on to, to the next episode, so this is part one of this conflict that was originally an expansionist campaign for uh, for Bosnia. And now we're just taking a bit of a speed bump on our road to conquest. And we have to, you know, call them again because this is for the subjugation war. Man, you're moving faster than us. Now, would you like to... Well, war has to end first. Hey, since I killed my own son, where does Serbia go to? Oh, Miroslav will be both Croatia and Serbia. And interesting enough. And don't make me think that I would uh, kill him as well. 
so I can keep all three kingdom titles. Oh, that's plenty. Okay, there is something they're holding, which is a slight mistake on their part. And look, it's the prince leading the army, the one I'm trying to antagonize. Come back here! Ha! Huh. Now you come to us. I told you, fight on my terms, not yours. And we are well motivated this time. I had to sacrifice my son to get these troops motivated. That's how committed I am. It's a beating you guys. See, look at that. Took little loss compared to theirs. Gave him a bloody nose and I think we should go up... Uh, just take Rashka, then go up and deal with those guys. They'll be back stronger. But the war score has gone way up. We'll actually go through here, because go through a minor river crossing, not a freaking major one such as the Danube. Bulgaria's call for a new ally. Doesn't seem much, but they have connections. Ten great connections. Get over here, stick with us. Let's beat these Pests from pest. Perhaps I should use my extensive military knowledge to impress her into liking me more. Well, how about my military exploits? I'm sure they'll impress her. Yeah, sure. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Use more practice reading. And she's impressed by the by those stories. That takes care of them. Now we take this area and go into pest itself, which it will continue into the uh, next episode. See, one little mistake, and we're turning it all around. And the uh, expansionist wars will continue into the next episode. And I'm sure it'll continue for the rest of the life of Branamir. This brilliant king. Who isn't as dumb as he looks. Alright. Thinking new ways to like me more is hurting my brain. Uh, shall I invite her here for sightseeing? So, uh, we'll see all that and more. On the next episode, um, we're going to deal with Pest and Bulgaria, and then Corinthia. So, until next time, until then, so long for now.